Hello everybody. Today is Tuesday, September 27th. It's 3.43 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's about 17 minutes before the regular session close of the futures markets today. You can see my computer clock here with the date and time. I'm going to bring over the time and sales. The E-mini S&P currently trading around 21.52 and you can see the time here. Uh, we have a really great video for you today. Before I begin, first the required disclaimer. Okay, I'm going to talk about line break trades and automation with our line break logic. But first, we'll go over a few charts and I'll get to the line break charts. Uh, first up, we have the crude oil and the Superenco 6 tick. I'm going to tighten this up here so you can see the equity curve. There was a number of trades, but we really didn't have uh, any drawdown. You, this is our beginning equity here. And you can see the see our equity curve here that ultimately closed out at $1,330 profit. So quite a few trades. But the thing of note here is that the losers are much smaller than the winners in most cases. Uh, really solid winners here. There was tr a lot of volatility in the crude oil today, and the auto trader handled it quite well. We had an inquiry. Someone asked, how come we show so many charts of the crude oil? And the answer is, is that the crude oil is one of the best markets to trade because of its volatility. There is usually good movement in both directions in the crude oil, and the crude oil is just very consistent with the auto trader. And if you've ever traded the crude oil with real money, then you know how difficult it can be to call the direction. There's often sudden reversals and uh, hard to get good execution sometimes unless you're using limit orders, which we do with the auto trader. Just about all of our chart setups use a limit order. And I'll just give you an example here. So here's a limit order at the close of the bar with a pullback of a tick. So what we are attempting to do is show the versatility of the auto trader to trade the crude oil with different bar types, different bar sizes, different money management, uh, some using the line break algorithm, some using the regular volatility algorithm, which is this chart that you see right here. Okay, next up is another chart of the crude oil on the Superenco 6 tick, except this is using our line break algorithm. And if I make these open, low, high, close bars, we can see the signals a little bit more clearly. So our line break signals are these dotted lines here. And the way line break works is that you must get a close above the set number of bars back. So in line break, the default setting or the traditional setting is three bars back. Uh, so sometimes line break is known as three line break, meaning that you must get a break of the high of three bars ago for a long and the break of the low of three bars ago for a short. So those are the rules for line break. And in the auto trader, our line break logic calculates the high and low of three bars back or the highest high of three bars or the lowest low. And that way we're able to get the signals here. So we have, we use a limit order with a pullback. So once we uh, break the line break signal, the close of the bar, which is here, then we have to pull back for the entry. So we see the close of the bar here was 92 and our entry here was at 88. So exactly four ticks on the pullback. The other really cool thing about our line break logic is that it's filtered out by the BWT precision trend indicator logic. The, the BWT precision trend logic colors the bars blue or red, so blue for when the market's going up and red when it's going down. The indicators by themselves do a great job, as we can see 
just the indicator signal here on this long. The line break trade wasn't taken because we filter out. We have a filter that if we get a long line break signal, which we have right here at 45.35, you can see the green dots on the left of the crosshair, the bars have to be blue to take this long signal. So here we had two red bars and we didn't pull back four ticks from the close of this bar either. So this trade was not taken. Conversely, if we have a short line break signal here, we have to have red bars, so this trade was not taken. Now this trade was taken here because we have a long line break signal. Here's the close of the bar and then the pullback and the bars are blue. So the filter conditions uh, apply here. The big, big advantage of this is that this can filter out chop. We can see some, some chop here and we didn't get whipsawed. Uh, here's another example of the market uh, kind of chopping around where we could have potentially got whipsawed here, but this is actually before the start of trading. So sometimes uh, we can have a small gain here, like these two trades, and then um, miss some signals, which, which is totally fine. And then of course we can uh, exit the trade when we get a line break signal in the other direction, and that's what you see here. That's what these uh, exits are. We're, we're exiting at the line break signal to go long from this short trade here. So the line break logic is really comprehensive and Blue Wave Trading is the only vendor that has automatic, automated uh, line break trading logic. Uh, personally, I began trading line break uh, back in the early part of uh, 2000. So I learned about line break uh, 16 or 17 years ago and I've always been a student of line break and it's always been a goal of mine to automate it and we have done so in a unique fashion uh, I don't believe any other vendor has automated line break so anyway this did uh, 1480 for the day I think there may be a goal here of 1500 and indeed there is so this uh, hit its goal Okay, next up is the crude oil on the Superenco 7 tick, and this has a more modest goal of 1,200, and this also hit its goal. This is not the line break logic. This is the regular BWT trend logic, and you can see uh, the red bars here are the trend indicator going short, and then, of course, our limit order. We have a limit order with a four tick pullback. So we can see the close of the bar and the pullback here on all of these trades. Okay, so back to our line break discussion. This is an actual three line break chart, except I have this set to two line breaks instead of three. And a line break chart can be based on minutes or seconds or ticks or volume, whatever. In this case, it's a 34 second line break chart with two line breaks. So here we will get a reversal with a close below two bars back. We got a short reversal. And this is actually the reversal bar, which uh, is blue because the trend filter is filtering out some of these reversals. These could have potentially been whipsaws. So we have a limit order here. This was actually entered on the limit order pullback. And uh, this did 11.40. Uh, this didn't start trading till 1 p.m. But you can see the volatility in the crude oil about this time, uh, a little bit after one, there was a, a sharp drop in the market and then kind of recovered uh, back to the upside. And this, uh, line break chart caught these trades uh, quite well. So 11.40 here for the day on two contracts. Okay, the big winner of the day was the DAX on the Superenco 6 tick. And uh, this, I believe, hit its goal of 2,000. And it had some slippage on the end. This is a limit order with a pullback of three ticks. 
and uh, a couple of the trades here. So really solid performance on the DAX, which is another very volatile market. Okay, next up is the NASDAQ on the Superenco 10 tick, and this did 765 for the day on two contracts. Okay, next up is a line break chart on the E-mini S&P, and this had uh, an equity high of about $800, more than $800, and then we had a couple of whipsaws in the last hour of trading here. And we're currently short and taking some heat, so unless the market sells off, this is going to have a, a small gain today. On the other side of the coin, we have the E-mini S&P on the Superenco 6 tick, and this is using our line break logic. You can see the line break signals here. And this uh, particular strategy starts trading at 1230. I've shown this a number of times. It's currently long. So uh, if the market does resolve to the upside, this will have a pretty solid gain for the day. Okay, last but not least is the 30-year Treasury bond and the Superenco 6 tick. We had a short trade that had uh, a pretty decent profit, but ended up being break even because our money management is pretty loose here. And then the second trade closed at the close of the bond session here, giving us a gain of 437.50. That's it for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website or send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.